So as soon as I posted the Dermalogica video, everyone asked me in the comments and on Snapchat to do a tutorial on this look, which I'm really excited to do because it's one of my favorite looks with one of my favorite palettes. The Kat Von D Metal Matte Palette. Now this thing is beautiful. I actually got one for myself and then I gave one away to one of my lucky subscribers during my 10K giveaway. Um, I might give away another one. Let me know if you think I should do another Kat Von D Metal Matte giveaway. Anyways, this look is super easy, it's super fun, and it's focusing on how to make your eyes look bigger, so hopefully if you have Asian eyes or small eyes, this will help you enhance your eyes, because that's exactly what I do. I'm half Japanese, so my eyes are a little bit on the smaller side, but I just really like to play them up with makeup. So let's go ahead and just get right into it. Alright guys, so first things first, we're going to go in with the Boing Concealer from Benefit. You can feel free to use whatever concealer you like. I like this one because it stays tacky the longest. I know a lot of people like to use MAC Soft Ochre, but that one dries out way too fast. So I'm going to go in with the Boing Concealer. So I'm going to apply the concealer all over my lids and use this as the eyeshadow base. Okay, so pretty much this whole tutorial is going to be with the Kat Von D metal matte palette which is like my baby right now and I'm gonna go ahead and start with the color fringe and I'm using a Morphe um, blending brush in the color fringe as a transition color so I'm just gonna generously apply this on my crease and kind of the area around it next I'm using the Morphe M433 brush and I'm gonna go ahead and apply the color silk tighter into my crease Next, I'm using the Sigma E25 blending brush and I'm gonna apply the color Velvet and I'm gonna apply it only to the outer and inner corners of my eyes. All right, so next I'm going in with the Morphe Y22 brush and I'm gonna apply the color Jet tighter into the inner and outer corners of my eyes only. Alright, so moving on, just to highlight the center of the lid, I'm going to use the color Glitz and I am using the Urban Decay Naked 2 brush. So to add a pop of cool color, I'm going to go in with the color Nebula and I am using a Morphe liner brush to apply this onto the outside of that white line that we just created in the middle of the lid. I'm going back in with the same Naked 2 brush that I used just to blend out the blue. And for the inner corners of my eyes, I'm going to apply the color Volt. Alright, so moving on to the lower lash line, I'm going to go ahead and use the same Morphe blending brush that I used earlier and I'm going to apply the same color fringe onto my lower lash line. Next, I am applying the color Ribbon with the Morphe E25 brush. Next, I'm going back in with the Morphe liner brush and I'm going to apply the color Velour very tightly into my lash line. Okay, so that's it for the shadows and now I'm going to move on to the liner. Today I'm going to use the Moda's Little Black Dress Liner and I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit of black with the It Cosmetics number 218 brush. So now I'm going to apply mascara to my upper and lower lashes and go ahead and apply about three coats of this mascara or as much as you would like. So for final touches, I'm going to wear my favorite lashes, which is the Flutter Lashes Intoxicating Lashes. Okay, so that is it for the eye look and now all I have to do is throw on my wig and I am good to go. So I hope you guys love this tutorial. If you liked it, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and if you guys tried this look go ahead and tag me on Instagram I'll leave my Instagram account below I want to see your looks because I want to repost them so thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time